I'm sure that many of you will be surprised to find out that cisterns used for transporting oil and other liquids best serve as mobile housing units in the far north. For more than 40 years, cisterns have been used as housing in settlements for shift workers, researchers, mountain climbers, and military personnel, all of whom work in extreme conditions. Let's find out more. Even though it is difficult to call a barrel your home, to this day, a warmer shelter has not been invented. When the air temperature drops to minus 65 degrees Celsius and the wind rushes at a speed of 60 meters per second, only the cistern can save a person from the cold. Life in the harsh climate of the far north dictates its own rules, and a person tries to create warm housing for him or herself, even if it's not the most comfortable or cozy housing. As strange as it may sound, but it is metal oil barrels that serve as the most reliable and warm housing. With the right arrangement, they can withstand the most severe frost and powerful gust of wind. This discovery was made in the Soviet Union when they were exploring the North. At the time, housing adapted to extreme weather conditions was severely lacking, but empty containers were plentiful. This is also the case today. As such, enterprising people began to build their own housing. The housing that the industry supplied were wooden work trailers with frail insulation in the form of slag wood or sawdust. They couldn't withstand even 20 degree frost. Of course, the units that were constructed in the field cannot be compared to those that were designed by engineers Alexander Nuklachev and Sergei Komolov. They skillfully and professionally improved the work of the people. The unified metal block reformed workers' housing. The model was first produced and developed at the Volkolomsk Repair and Mechanical Plant in 1975. Serial production was launched at the Sokolisk Woodworking Plant. An interesting fact is that in 1978, the improved model served as a model for the development of the first mobile residential complex. After testing and extreme weather conditions, incredible results were recorded. When the temperature outside was negative 56 degrees Celsius, the temperature inside the unified metal block was plus 16. Experience shows that such housing stays warm even when the temperature is negative 65 and winds travel at 60 meters per second. What's more is that cylindrical houses do not require a lot of investment in the form of labor or money. Their high reliability and excellent living conditions made them a popular model. The blocks are equipped with kitchens, hallways, showers, warm floors, and comfortable furniture. The interior is finished with natural wood paneling. Their comfort and luxury made them the dream home of many workers, researchers, and mountain climbers who would otherwise have to live in frozen trailers. Nevertheless, it took a long time until the unified metal block became the standard housing in worker settlements or research bases. The improved models were first supplied to the Army, where they were used as temporary housing, offices, and shelters during the deployment of troops in remote areas, away from the location of the main unit. It was also used in the North when all other housing was deemed unacceptable. For military purposes, special blocks were created that were equipped with absolutely everything needed for living. In addition to shelves, tables, and plumbing, those units also had various appliances. Let's analyze what can fit inside a barrel called the unified metal block and learn why this cylindrical metal house became the salvation of workers living in extreme conditions. First of all, the factory production of a turnkey residential module has a number of strengths. Durability, streamlining during transportation, stability during strong gusts of wind, and relative comfort. These qualities are achieved by proper calculations and the technological nature of the production. The unified metal blocks were able to significantly decrease the consumption of materials. It was possible to reduce the surface of heat radiation as compared to rectangular trailers. The cylindrical shape combined with insulation around the cistern makes for a real thermos house. If you look closely at the residential module itself, you will not see a huge number of chimneys or electric heaters. In fact, no technologies such as chimneys are installed inside to heat the house. They are heated with the help of convectors 
located in the underfloor space. A section of the barrel allows this to be done unnoticed. That's why the floor of the house is always warm and the cylinder's ventilation is installed under the ceiling of the upper part of the cylinder, which helps organize the regulated supply of air from the outside. As a result of these systems, the conditions are created to ensure a uniform temperature with the necessary ventilation and without the accumulation of condensation. The optimal heating system and the correct use of insulation layers of the all-metal shell, which can withstand all kinds of winds, is what allows for the creation of comfortable living conditions even in conditions as extreme as negative 60 degrees Celsius. Each unified metal block also has a mounted unit of water that supplies both hot and cold water, and the option to install showers and flush toilets, making the units a real success. The unified metal blocks can be transported by all types of vehicles, including a helicopter. As such, it is not surprising that these units are the preferred housing for all those who works involve developing fossil fuels or studying the North. However, such houses also have disadvantages. With the onset of hot days, the metal shells heaps up very quickly when they have standard insulation. Therefore, shading is required. Those regions where such temperature changes exist require additional protective elements in the form of a roof made out of wood, mats made out of reeds or straw, or tarpaulin coverings. In other cases, climbing plants are planted. However, if the cylindrical blocks are additionally insulated from the outside using mineral wood materials or polyurethane coatings, then such shading is not required. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch our other videos. See you soon. Bye.